Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa. In today's video, we'll discuss about uh, how many injections are roughly required during an IVF uh, cycle. So IVF uh, is a procedure wherein the woman's egg is uh, eggs are retrieved and it is mixed with uh, the husband's sperm and then it is transferred back into the woman's uterus. So uh, in natural uh, cycle, there will be one follicle which contains one egg which is uh, developed. Whereas in IVF, we want the woman to develop multiple follicles which has multiple eggs and uh, then we get at least like, you know, a uh, good number of embryos for uh, the transfer. Uh, here, uh, I think uh, the most important uh, step is giving the injections to the woman to produce this multiple follicles uh, and also the quality of the injections, the dose of the injections, uh, the storage of these injections and how the injections are administered. All these play a very important role in the success rate of the IVF cycle. So coming back to the injections, uh, the injections are hormonal injections, which could be FSH injections, which can be either Kagan, Gonalef, uh, Foligraph, Folisurge and uh, many more uh, uh, trade names are there uh, for FSH injections. In uh, HMG uh, injections, it could be either uh, uh, Menotas, it could be IVFM, it could be uh, Humog, it could be uh, GMH. So these are the various uh, injections which are available uh, in India, which are routinely used by IVF clinics. So coming to the uh, dosage, so the dosage depends on multiple factors like the weight of the patient, age of the pa patient, the AMH uh, levels and the number of follicles which are seen on second day of the period and whether we are going to do a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer and uh, the uh, response of the patient in the previous cycle if they have already undergone uh, one IVF cycle. So all these uh, will determine uh, as to what is the dosage which needs to be started and these injections are started from second or third day of the period and uh, these injections are usually the FSH injections are given as a subcutaneous injection onto the thighs of the woman or onto the abdomen. So HMG injections there are highly purified injections or uh, there are uh, urinary uh, uh, HMGs. So depending on uh, uh, what uh, type of HMG we are using it could be the subcutaneous administration or it could be intramuscular uh, administration. Uh, so every day the patient has to take the uh, prescribed dose of prescribed injection roughly around the same time. There could be sometimes a combination of FSH and uh, HMG also or there could be only one type of injection which could be given. So this uh, starts from day 2 or day 3 and it will go on for 8 to 12 days depending on the response of the patient. So uh, once the patients uh, start taking the injections by themselves, so nowadays we have a pen which is very easy and very comfortable for the patients to use wherein they just have to uh, scroll and uh, uh, start uh, using it on their thighs which is quite uh, painless and uh, there is no after effects, there is no discoloration of the skin uh, with these uh, uh, injections. And also like from fifth day onwards, there is another injection called the antagonist which is added. And this is to prevent the follicles from rupturing prematurely. And this injection is roughly given for four to six days depending on the response. So once these injections see like uh, from day two, we start the FSH or HMG and then from day five or day six of the injections, we start uh, the antagonist, which also has to be given as a subcutaneous injection. And totally the duration of these injections will be around uh, 10 to 12 days and it is only once a day that it is given. And the trigger, uh, once it is decided, as to when the follicle is size is about more than 17 18 millimeter then the trigger is uh, decided so the trigger also could be like a single trigger or a double trigger single trigger usually is uh, either uh, hcg injection uh, which is an intramuscular injection if it is uh, urinary uh, hcg if it is recombinant hcg then it is a subcutaneous injection onto your thighs so there is another uh, antagonist uh, called the uh, GNRH analog. So there are multiple uh, brands which are available in this. The uh, Lupride or uh, there is Agotrig, there is Decapeptide. 
which can be used in combination with uh, either uh, recombinant HCG uh, which is uh, HUCOG, uh, recombinant HUCOG or uh, Ovatril or it can be with the urinary HCG like Choreosurge, Pubergen, Fertigen uh, there are enough and more brands which are available in the market so trigger shot uh, if we give combination of both then one will be subcutaneous one the other will be intramuscular or both could be subcutaneous which has to be like you know uh, taken at the right time as prescribed by the uh, the clinician so if the trigger timing is say 10 pm then uh, the patient has to keep a, a reminder and an alarm uh, wherein it reminds the patient that the trigger injection is uh, 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 scheduled at that particular time and she has to take it if there is any delay in her taking the trigger injection uh, then she should inform the clinic immediately because the egg pickup is scheduled exactly 34 to 36 hours after the trigger and this is very very important for the maturation of the egg inside the follicle so while the patient is on these injections is there anything in specific that she needs to follow so definitely no i mean she need not change her diet she need not change her physical activity she need not change her working routine or her day-to-day -day routine just for the injection so if she is confident in taking it herself she can administer it herself storage is extremely important because the cold storage is the one which uh, uh, plays a role uh, ab about maintaining the strength and also the potency of the drug which is inside so the uh, injection should be stored in the refrigerator door and uh, it should be taken out only uh, just before uh, the patient administers the injections so the storage part uh, has to be like clearly explained and when the patient is taking the injections from the clinic to her home uh, then uh, the, the cold storage has to still be maintained either in a cool box or in an ice pack so uh, that has to be taken care of when uh, the patient is taking the delivery of these injections so ideally the injection should not be kept uh, outside for more than say like uh, uh, half an hour to one hour where it loses its uh, potency and uh, the action of these injections will not be there and if at all if the patient is taking it herself then she should uh, probably record a video of uh, as to how to take the injection once in the clinic and then she should uh, go through this video uh, before she takes the each dose so these are the injections which are given till like you know egg pickup so post uh, egg pickup there could be progesterone injections which could be given so progesterone injections are uh, either oil based or water based so if it is oil based it is quite painful uh, but oil based have been there for many many years and they have proven their efficacy so still many IVF consultants still use oil based injections uh, the water based injections are nowadays available uh, and they are uh, quite comfortable with regard to the pain so these progesterone injections are started post uh, egg pickup uh, and then it it is continued till the day of the uh, ivf result which is done by either a blood test called beta hcg or uh, by a urine pregnancy test so this is about injections during this if there is any uh, discomfort to the patient at the injection site she can apply cold uh, pack she can uh, try to uh, uh, try to change the technique or uh, seek help from uh, a staff nurse or uh, medical uh, personnel to help her out and uh, there could be slight discoloration on the skin which can happen and that is uh, a temporary thing and it usually settles down uh, but apart from that uh, there is nothing much I mean there is no infection there is no abscess there is no uh, uh, probably uh, no development of any other kind of uh, side effects with just the uh, administration of these uh, injections so progesterone injection if it is oil based if it is taken for a very long time it can cause uh, a lot of no other uh, injection site uh, uh, nodules or lumps which could be quite painful and that is the time when we need to change over to other uh, modalities like vaginal root of uh, progesterone or uh, 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 water based uh, progesterone injections so any more doubts about uh, injections you can just uh, i think contact us so thank you for watching have a great day